All right, here we go. We are still on graphing quadratic equations. We're still working on vertex form. This is going to be day three of it. And this is where we put it all together. So remember that we worked on H, we've worked on K, and we've worked on A. Remember our H is a horizontal shift, left or right. We go left if it's positive. We go right if it's negative. Okay, K. Uh, it's a vertical shift. If it's a plus K, then we go up. If it's a minus K, we go down. A has two different jobs. If it's negative, it's a reflection. It flips it over. If A is bigger than 1, then it's a stretch. If A is between 0 and 1, it is a shrink. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to throw it all together now into some practice problems. So we're going to start in. What I always like to do is kind of go through and look. I have this plus 3 and I have that negative. So the first thing I know I'm going to have is I'm going to have a reflection or a flip, however you want to think of it. So I'm going to have this reflection. The plus 3 is inside the grouping with the x. So therefore, it's going to shift left 3. So what's my new vertex then? So I'm shifting left three, so that's three. I don't have an up or down. So my vertex is going to be at negative three, zero. Now, we are reflecting, so normally I go right one, up one, but because I'm reflecting, I'm gonna go right one, down one, left one, down one. Right two, down four, left two, down four, I'm going to draw my parabola, and there would be my graph, okay? Let's try another one. So now this one actually has three things going on. I know that because there are three different numbers here involved. So let's kind of think through. The first one, I'm just going to start at the beginning. A is 2, so that's going to be a stretch. And the reason that's a stretch is because 2 is bigger than 1. Um, the negative 1 is inside, so that's going to shift it to the right, 1. The negative 8 is on the outside, so that is going to shift it down 8. So where's my new vertex? Well, right 1 means a positive 1. Down 8 is a negative 8, so I'm going to go right 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now we're going to stretch it by a factor of 2. So normally I'd go right 1, up 1. But remember, we're going to multiply the up by the value. So I'm going to go right 1, up 2. Left 1, up 2. Then normally we'd go right 2, up 4. But I'm going to go right 2, take 4 times 2. And now I'm going to go up 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And now we go across. And there is our parabola. Now notice it is fairly steep now. It is a, a very skinny parabola because it is a, um, because it has that uh, stretch factor of 2. Okay, let's keep going here. So this next one, if you notice, there's nothing on the inside, but there's still three things happening here. So I'm going to start, I see a negative in that A spot, so that's going to reflect. I also see a 3 in that front spot, that is going to be a stretch. And then I see the 9 on the outside, which is going to shift up 9. So where's my vertex then? So I'm not going to move left or right any, so my vertex is at 0, 9. Okay, next we're going to flip it upside down, so instead of going right 1, up 1, we're now going to go down. But remember, we're stretching it by a factor of 3, so I'm going to go right 1. 1 times 3 is 3, so I'm going to go down 3. And then I'm going to go left 1, down 3. Then I'm going to go right 2. Normally I'd go down 4, but now I'm going to multiply that by 3. 
and that's going to get me down 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then go left the same amount. And you'll notice very thin uh, parabola uh, by that factor, that stretch factor of three. Okay. Now this one has three things as well. So the first thing we see the half, that's going to give us a shrink because that value is between zero and one. I see the negative six on the inside. So remember that goes the other way. So that is going to shift right six. And outside I have a shift of four up. So now I look at my vertex then, it would be at six, four. So I come in one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. From there, I'm gonna shift it or I'm gonna shrink it a half. So I go right one, normally I go up one, but I'm gonna go right one up a half, left one up a half. Normally I go right two up four, but now I'm gonna shrink it. Half of four is two, so right two up two, left two up two. And that gives me my new parabola. Okay. And then we have this last one here. So if you look here, we've got quite a few things. We've actually got four things happening that we're going to try to do. So we start off, we've got the negative, that's a reflect. We've got the one-fourth, which is a shrink. We've got the plus three inside, so that is shift left three. We've got the negative two outside, so that is a shift down two. So we come in here, shift left three, that'll make that a negative three. Down two, that'll make that a negative two. So we're gonna go one, two, three, one, two. Now we're gonna reflect it, but we're gonna also shrink it. So when we go here, normally we go right one, down one, but a fourth of that. Second, we go right two, down four, but a fourth of four is one. So that's gonna get us something about like this. And that is going to be our parabola. So that is how we use vertex form to graph all the different transformations involved with parabolas.